What's good, Joe? You back with streets, freestyle cooking with streets. Thanks for tuning in. Like always, I hope everybody out there is staying safe and healthy. And of course, y'all know what it is. Got another recipe video to share with y'all. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Always appreciate you coming through, showing me love, checking it out. You know what I'm saying? And if this is your first time on my channel, please hit that subscribe, like, share, and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with my latest recipe videos. We get it down. We have fun, creative, just doing our thing, man. Come through, holla. You feel me? So today, y'all, got some seafood up on the board. So we're going to do some seared scallops and a baked salmon, okay? Something real quick, man. Nice little meal. Actually, somebody was asking me about how to sear scallops. So I said, you know what? Why don't I just do another video on it? Share with my people that come through and watch me. And, you know, you could probably do this meal too. Real easy, real simple. You feel me? So as you can see, got me a nice piece of salmon ready to go. Took the skin off. Also got me some nice size scallops. Feel me? Boom. And when, before you use your scallops too, you want to make sure they're real dry. So you want to pat them real dry. And I did that. Put them in the refrigerator for a minute. Let them dry out so they're real nice and dry because that'll give us a good sear. You feel me? All right, so let's get started, y'all. Let's do it. Okay, now I, I put my seafood to the side for a second because what we're going to do is I'm going to make a puree, okay? So in this pot, I got me some frozen peas and edamin. Edamin, that's how you say it. I got me some frozen peas and edamin, and I'm going to make a puree, okay? So you can use, you know, fresh peas if you have it fresh edamin but frozen will do just good I also got me some red onion here some pieces left from another uh, recipe and I also got me some uh, garlic cloves okay so you want to go ahead and, uh, and chop your onion up you know not, not like in the small pieces it's fairly good sized pieces like that okay Get that into the pot with your peas. Cut that down a little bit more. All right, get the onion in there. Also, the garlic, I'm just going to chop it in half and toss that in there. Toss, cut each clove in half and toss it in. And what we're gonna do is, um, I got me some stock here too. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna boil this so we can blanch these um, vegetables so that they can stay bright green. You feel me? That's what you wanna do. You wanna boil them, shock them in a, a cold ice water bath to keep them things nice, fresh, beautiful green color, okay? So I got me some stock here. Okay, and you're going to let this boil for about 10 minutes. Okay, get everything incorporated. Let it boil for about 10 minutes. During this time, you want to get your uh, ice water ready. Okay, get your bowl of ice water ready. Get your strainer and pot. Got my strainer and pot ready. Okay. All right, y'all. It's been about 10 minutes. Okay. our peas and I'm straining the liquid in a pot because I still might use some of that when we get to the uh, blender oh yeah there we go now you want to go ahead and get it into the cold water bath Alright, we're gonna let it chill in there. 
for about five minutes so it can stop the whole cooking process and that's going to keep the um, peas and edamine bright green let's do it. next take out your blender all right uh, once you got your peas up out the water bath go ahead and put them in the garlic the onions the whole nine all right next go ahead and put a little bit of the stock that we um boiled the peas in put a little bit in there to help it go let's get it popping coming together now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add some salt you're gonna season this to taste All right. some salt in there and you know you just season the taste you don't want to go too crazy with the salt I got some cracked black pepper there we go just a about a quarter teaspoon of that, that's all. I'm also going to add a little bit of hot sauce. This is optional. But it give me a little ting to my puree. Alright, get this back on. Let's get it started. heavy cream and kind of drizzle that in with it just a little bit All right we're finished y'all here go our puree and then even if you want you can actually you can actually uh, throw this through a, a sieve too. Just if you want to make sure you got. That's, that's what we're going to do, y'all. We're going to do it. Okay? So, just for y'all, so y'all want to really get that really, really, really fine texture. So, let me put it back in. Alright? And show you what you can do. Get the sieve. Now, mind you, our garlic and um, onion is basically chopped up pretty good with the blend. But this will get an extra silky. Alright, just go ahead and push it through. Alright, almost got it all. We pushed through. That's good, that's good. Alright. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Oh, yeah, see? Now we got it even better. Look at that. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Puree is done. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just set this to the side so we can finish our meal. All right. So you got your puree out the way. Let's do it. Now that we got the puree to the side, we're going to start to uh, make a little uh, butter lemon sauce for our um, fish, okay? So I got about a couple tablespoons in here that I'm going to put in the microwave, soften up, melt, and get a little mixture. Alright guys, there we go. We got the butter melted. Got me some fresh lemon juice from a lemon. Get that in there. Alright, so just gonna kind of stir it up, get it incorporated real good. Alright, there we go. Set that to the side. Alright, now let's get our fish ready. Obviously, I got me some garlic cloves too, so you're gonna need that. Let's get our fish ready. Put a little bit of oil on here. All 
try to get a little bit of oil on there to help with my fish. All right. Go. All right, place my fish in there. All right, so another thing, guys, too, make sure you preheat your oven to 375, get it ready. All right, before you like grease your bacon dish that you're gonna put your fish in or whatever. Got me a little brush. Go ahead and put the butter lemon juice mixture all over the fish. Oh yeah, there we go. And if you got a nice big thick piece of salmon, you want to coat it real good. All right. Also got me some garlic cloves. You need a couple of garlic cloves. We'll go ahead and get some salt on there. Next, I'm going to move this to the side real quick and chop up some of my garlic. And you can use a garlic press if you got one to get it, you know, chop up the garlic. Or should I say, you know, press it out, get it real fine, but just chopping up a couple pieces. There we go. That's it. All right. Let's get that on top. I love garlic, y'all. So that's why I'm going ham with the garlic. But you can just like I'm. You see, I'm just making one piece for this meal that we're doing for the video. But you know, do you? All right. Now we want to go ahead and we want to get this in the oven, okay, for about 15 minutes. All right, depending on how thick your, your, your salmon is, this is a nice, pretty thick piece, about 15 minutes. All right, next, after you get your salmon in the oven, it's ready to go. I got me some uh, tops to uh, green onion, some scallions. So, and we're going to use this for a garnish. We're going to make this, make our plate look real real nice all right so i went ahead and split it in half all right i want to go ahead and cut thin strips all right there once you got your strips cut up put them in some ice water a bowl of ice water neat little trick man for a smooth garnish nice little garnish all right, and leave that in there for about 10 minutes. Next, we're gonna get to our scallops. So grab your scallops. See, I got my pan ready. Get your pan ready, because you want your pan to be nice and hot. Okay, so you can get a good sear on it. So right now, I'm letting my pan heat up, get nice and hot. I'm gonna just add some salt and pepper to my uh, scallops. And then we're gonna get the sear pop. Alright, my pan is nice and hot. Some avocado on there. Oh yeah, you can see my pan is hot. See that smoke coming up as soon as I put the oil in there? But I always like to use a high heat point oil. Oh yeah, man. That's how you want. You want your pan nice and hot. Alright, let's go. Now you want to sear it for about three minutes on each side. I got some nice big size scallops, so I might go like four minutes. 
right. All right, y'all. Let's make our first flip. Oh, yeah. Here we go. All right. All right, y'all. I'm on my second batch. Almost done. Salmon is ready. All right. So I'm going to set that to the side. Let it rest. Finish up the scallops. Let's do it. There we go. Got the scallops out the pan. Now I'll go back to that butter. Uh, let me make sure we had. Just brush it on top. Brush it on top. Oh yeah, man. All right. Let's get this thing plated up, man. And don't forget, get your scallions out, your cold water, set them on some paper towels, dry them off a little bit. All right. You see how they start to curl up? Make a nice little garnish. All right, man, let's get it going. Got the plate. Here we go, we got my puree. All right. Get that on there. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. Go ahead and place my salmon down on there. Oh yeah. Let's add some uh, scallops. Ooh. 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 Let's get a little bit of our garnish going on. Oh yeah. And there we go, y'all. Real quick, simple meal, man. Check it out, man. Got our seared scallops. Got our pea and edamame puree. All right, got our scallion garnish. Real simple, man, real easy, man. Just had to share this with y'all. You know what I mean? For a friend of mine. So she can see how to do her scallops. Sear them up real nice to see how they all juicy and flowing. Ooh, once you start going into them with that puree. Uh. All right, so please subscribe, like, share hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with my latest videos man let me know if you tried this recipe real simple one man real easy meal you know holla at me so you already know about to go win holla